What's up, family? Chili from TLC is in the hot seat. During a promotional run in London to promote their new album, her and group member t Bars were asked a series of socio-political questions behind the movement Black Lives Matter. Now, Chili, for her part, decided that it was absolutely necessary to let everybody know all lives matter. Now, what is wrong with somebody saying all lives matter? Well, nothing in and of itself, because we all know that all lives should matter. But this phrase was coined. Black Lives Matter was coined because in America, with all these black people being murdered by the police, disrespected by the police, having their civil rights violated by the police, it just seems that black lives didn't matter. So the people thought it was important to come up with the phrase black lives matter. And as a result, some other people that can't stand any type of initiative that helps black people or promotes black progress decided that they wanted to coin their own phrase and they're going to have their rebuttal was all lives matter. So they only coined the phrase all lives matter, not because they really think all lives matter. They coined the phrase only as an insult to black lives matter. It was a deflection. It was to undermine. It was to discredit the whole movement and the hashtag. So Chile walked right into the trap. I'm going to let you guys hear an excerpt of the audio of the interview that they did in London. Leave your comments and I'll come back with mine. It's been highlighted in both the USA and the UK is the Black Lives Matter movement. Did you guys feel strongly about it when it was all kicking off in America? Did you go on any marches? Did you go on any anti-Trump marches? But you having said that you're not into the politics that much, did, did that affect you? Well, I personally, I didn't go into any marches or anything like that, but my, for me, all lives matter. You know what I mean? Because there's a time when, you know, different groups are targeted for, you know, different things. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that just the whole, you know, what happened, even, you know, with the police brutality against these young black boys and stuff like that. And, and, and all of that kind of stuff is wrong, you know, and even if it was, you know, a Caucasian uh, teen kid that this was happening to or whatever it's just it's just not right you know and then some people will take that authoritative position and go crazy with it obviously you know and I think that before people are higher in these positions they need to do like some kind of better background check or mental stability kind of you know check on them to to see if they can really handle being in a, a a position like that so I just I mean, you know like I said to me it's that color sticks together to the blue they stick together so yeah they're not gonna tell on each other mm -mm. what's it like for you both being black women in America in the age of Donald Trump I don't care about Donald Trump so I mean God is my president so I just feel sorry for people it affects but I don't care about him like I remember when Trump got into power, lots of actual TLC fans were going, Trump is a scrub. Is Trump a scrub? That's funny. Oh, I, never <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I worked on a Celebrity Apprentice and when he wasn't president, and I wasn't too fond of him. <laughs> so I don't care, really. There it is. T-Boys looked like she really wanted to go off, but it's like she had her antennas up and she knew it was a trap being set and she decided I'm not going to walk into that trap because she was like hey man yeah these cops are dirty they stick together work with Donald Trump on Apprentice didn't like him then don't like him now that was cool she, see it's not important to know everything that she's thinking uh, she said enough. And it's very important that 
you don't even let these people know everything you're thinking because they're going to just figure out some kind of way to use it against you. And if you ain't on your game, uh, they can do you real bad. Basically like they did Chili, because she walked right into it because she is definitely not on her game. Now, Chili offered an explanation to why she said all lives matter. This was after the backlash that she received. She said, of course, black lives matter and the killing of young black boys is heartbreaking to all of us. Everyone knows I'm a black mother of a black son, so there's no way I could watch what's happening and not be affected. The video was from an interview in London asking me about issues happening in the US. See, here's the problem with that statement. You can't walk both lines. You can't be on both sides of the line or both sides of the fence. You either with us or you against us. Stop trying to play both sides of the fence. I understand you got white fans. I understand that you got white friends. I got white friends. I got white fans. But if my white friends and my white fans can't understand that black people are out here being smoked and murdered and suffocated by corrupt law enforcement officials being killed murder, slaughtered on the streets of the United States of America and inside of jail cells and prisons inside of the U.S. Modern day lynching, government sanctioned lynchings going on right here today. If they can't understand that that is something that I have to speak about, that is something that affects me and that I have a right to speak on it and be angry about it. If they can't understand that, they can kick some motherfucking rocks from here to fucking Timbuktu. I don't give a damn. I don't need a fan that bad. I don't need a friend that bad. If any friend that I have, any friend got a problem with me being angry about me being disrespected or people in my community being disrespected or unfairly targeted. That is not a friend to me. They are not my friend anyway. I don't need a fan that bad. See, a lot of these black celebrities, they trying to protect their white fan base by kissing ass and trying to call themselves being all inclusive. You can be all inclusive you can be inclusive you can love other people you can care about other people you can be uh empathetic toward other people without throwing your own people under the bus that's what y'all don't get and i'm gonna tell you something else most of y'all out there who actually have made music with messages, you got to understand that those white fans who became a fan after listening to that music, they are hip to what's going on and they respect you speaking on these issues. That's why they became a fan in the first place. You look at those Public Enemy fans out there. Most of the majority of Public Enemy fans are white. Just like with Ghetto Boys. 80% of the Ghetto Boys fan base is white. Okay? They know what we're about. Those are the white people that get it. They understand what's going on. So when we speak against these issues and stuff, they understand, well, he's not talking about all white people. He's just talking about the white people that's on that fuck shit. The white people that's buying in the white supremacy. The white people that's running around here trying to hold black people back. That's what he's talking about. He ain't talking about me because I ain't about that. So they get it. So when you kiss ass and you try to water down these issues they really don't respect you they're not going to respect you in fact they're going to find somebody else to get into they're going to find somebody else's music to admire because that's the person that's taking a chance they're admiring the the, the honor in your music they're admiring 
the, the truthfulness, the honesty. That's what made them become a fan in the first place. Not because you cute. <laughs> That's what a lot of y'all don't get. It is very, very possible to love other people without throwing your own people under the bus. Now, when I uh, asked about uh, being a black woman with Donald Trump as the president, t Boss had this to say. Well, she said, and you heard her say, she said that, um, you know, they stick together. You know, they roll together. I like when she said that. I mean, she putting it out there. She let them know, hey, man, this is what's going on. But, man, I was watching that interview, and I was like, T-Boys was in her lane. That's kind of her lane. She, you know, she going to let you know how she feel or whatever, but, you know what I'm saying, she going to still be cognizant of what's going on. But where the hell is Lisa Lopez when you need her? Now, Left Eye would have jumped on out there. She's been like, you know what I'm saying? I know what's going on. I'm conscious of what's going on, and I know what the ramification is, but I don't give a fuck. I'm going to tell you what it is. This was going on, man. So, you know, that's, that part right there is, is being sorely missed. That's sorely being missed in the group. And we, you're definitely going to see that, I do believe, uh, reflected in the music, that, that new music that they put out. Now, I just hope that these people that's out here reporting and blogging and whatever, stop putting a microphone in these idiots' faces who don't know what's going on, who are not politically astute, who don't know what the issues are. Like a lot of these people, man, they don't know what's going on. They're totally out of the loop. You should not speak on these type of issues. I interviewed DJ Envy. And DJ Envy was like, hey, if you don't know what to say, if you don't know what the issues are, you know, you should probably not say anything at all. And I agree with that 100%. I would rather somebody not say anything than to open their mouth and reveal stupidity. I would rather them not say, hey, man, hey, man, I'll get back to you. I don't know what's going on really about that. I don't know too much about that, but let me get back with you on that. I would respect that more than somebody jumping out there saying something and trying to come off like they're intelligent, like they really know what's going on and they're falling on their face and throwing their people under the bus. So I know that I said I hope that they would stop doing that, but then they're going to stop doing it because celebrities have too big of a platform. And the guy on the corner, he may be well-versed well in what's going on. He may know wit a whole lot more than what any celebrity knows about what's going on, but... They want to put the mic in the front of the celebrity space because celebrity means that we're going to have an instant amount of a large number of people coming onto the platform and reacting to this uh, statement. So I get that. Uh, you know, I just wish it was. I wish. I just wish it was more people that really was up on their game and knew what was going on who could speak on these issues. Um, and like I said before, this whole all lives matter, it was not, they did not coin this phrase because they really care about people. They're not, they didn't coin the phrase all lives matter because they really think all lives matter. They coined the phrase as a diss to the Black Lives Matter movement. That's all it was about. And this, this is why people get so pissed off when the conversation is about Black Lives Matter and somebody feels a need to shout out All Lives Matter, especially when somebody does it who's black. And so every time somebody black who does it, uh, especially a, a famous person, I ain't going to just straight up say that you're cooning. 
but your coon liking. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Damn. Order in Texas.